against odds time, startling Jess guy in standard. We'll try it. Forest. So basically, the goal of this deck is to resolve Startle Wake four times. Either naturally, rebounding it with our set, doubling it with Geist Blast, etc. Evolving Wilds, go. We also have Jace that can flash it back, so all in on Startle Wake. <laughs> we'll see if it works. Evolving Wilds, get a mountain. Uh, Prairie Stream, go. Geist Blasts aren't seeming too good if this is Mono Green Ramp. I guess our best bet is to mill their important stuff. Oh, Tireless Tracker. Spicy. Well, let's play a Vessel, play Wandering Fumeral, pass the turn. They are going to have to kill Tireless Tracker. Alright, they get a clue. Beast Caller, Savant. Nissa. Alright. Uh, not Radiant Flames. I guess we just Needle Spires and Geist Blast the Tireless Tracker. Pass the turn. What is this deck? They're playing Nissa's Pilgrimage with Nissa, Beast Caller, Savant, and Tireless Tracker? Is this Mono Green Ramp? Just an uh, interesting build of it? A Leaf Gilder. Oh, come on, Radiant Flames. Radiant Flames! <laughs> Would be so good. Alright, we take three. Well, we need to... Geist Blast Nissa, Wandering Fumeral, pass the turn. So we can sack our vessel, mill three, and draw a card. Gaia's Revenge. Oh lord. Eight, nine, ten, eleven? Whew! Alright, well, interesting. Let's sack our vessel. What do we mill? Blister Pod, Pilgrimage, Call of the Scions? Oh lord. We can't even target this. The best we can do is chump with a land? We're not going to win that way. Uh, alright. That does it. We're not going to win chumping with lands. Um, guess we can bring in another Chandra, another Descend, a Planner Outburst. Go down. Talent of the Telepath seems pretty bad in this matchup. And a Vessel? Try it like that. Alright, we get to play first. Uh, okay. Fumeral, go. Radiant Flames. Let's just Battlefield Forge, Vessel. Pass the turn. Radiant Flame should be pretty good. Beast Caller, Savant. And Blister Pod. Uh, Prairie Stream, pass the turn. Leave up Negate and Vessel. We don't want them to resolve a Evolutionary Leap. Leaf Gilder, sure. Oh, Lord. Well, this is going to be a good Radiant Flames. Well, let's sack Vessel. Mill 3, draw a card. Ulamog. Hermit of Naternals and Beast Caller Savant. Spicy. Um, yeah. Let's just Radiant Flames. Kill all that stuff. Opponent gets a Scion. Prairie Stream, go. Well, we put our opponent way back on mana. Hopefully that's good enough. Shrine. What a odd ramp deck. Opponent gets in for one. Yeah, let's play Island. We might be able to trick our opponent into attacking with the Scion and block. Mm, now we're not gonna block. They, I think they want to resolve a spell here. All right, Nissa's renewal definitely negating. Another radiant flame. So needle spires attack with fumeral. Still haven't found a startled awake or a planeswalker. Get in for four. Opponent passes. Ooh, that's a Jace. Jace is interesting. Well, let's just Jace Prairie Stream pass the turn. Oh, something big's gonna be coming. Seek the wilds. Look at top four, put a creature land in your hand, the rest on the bottom. They get an Oblivion Sower. Thankfully, they can't cast it this turn. Um, do we want to flip Jace? Probably not yet. Another Fiery Temper. Alright, let's attack with Wandering Fumeral. Put our opponent to 12. Play the land, pass the turn. I'm expecting Oblivion Sower here. Hopefully, it's nothing worse. Gaia's Revenge. Alright, gonna hit us for 8. Down to 8. But we get to Jace, discard Fiery Temper, put our opponent to 9. Another land. Well, I think we gotta go for it. So, attack with Fumeral, put our opponent down to 5, play a Fumeral, pass the turn. As long as Jace lives, we should win next turn. We just block, flip, Fiery Temper, they have another Gaia's Revenge? What is this? Oh, uh, now we're dead, I think. Well, that's 
unexpected. All right, jeez. All right, against the odds, Startling Jess Guy, and good enough. Got a Jace, Narset, no Startle Wake yet, but that's all right. Island Go, Forest for our opponent, and Loam Dryad. Could be the LSV deck. Jace Friends, Prodigy, Pass the Turn, Lana War Waste, and Duskwatch Recruiter. Well, let's loot with Jace, Pitch Fiery Temper, Madness it, kill the Duskwatch Recruiter. Play Mountain and a Vessel. Pass the turn. So this is the Black Green Aristocrats by the look. Another Duskwatch. Gets in for one. Come on, Startled Awake. Valving Wilds. Loot with Jace. Another Jace. So discard a Jace. Play Evolving Wilds. Pass the turn. Flips Duskwatch. Westvale Abbey. Goes to attacks. No attacks. Guess they're just gonna... Oh, Collected Company? Well, let's... Vessel targeting our opponent. Cracky Valving Wilds. Get a Plains. Do we want to flip Jace? Probably. We flip Jace. Loot. Flip Jace. Discard a Island. Play a Prairie Stream. Flashback Fiery Temper. Kill this Werewolf thing. And then negate the Collected Company. Alright, that went well. Pass the turn. And we actually have Descend Upon the Sinful almost with... Creature, enchantment, land, instant. Oh, we do have delirium. That's good. Main phase collected company, so we're probably just going to have to descend upon the sinful this turn. Only one hit? Well, let's pump up Jace, descend upon the sinful, get our angel, catacomb sifter, radiant flames, nice. Well, let's radiant flames, opponent scries, play another Jace, tick up the Jace. And get in 4-4 with our angel. Man, we have all the combo pieces, we just haven't found a startled awake. Flash it back with Jace, flip a Jace, double it with Narset. Another Catacomb Sifter. Oh, uh, well, let's just Narset. Pump it up, see if we can find startled awake. Another Jace. Ugh. Pump up Jace. Attack with our angel. Pass the turn. Caves of Koilos. Oh, so, so this is Abzan, eh? Cryptolithrites, Eldrazi Displacer. Well, we probably are going to have to kill that at some point. Uh, we can wait for now, though. Let's pump up Narset. Get a Chandra. Well, I guess we just play a Chandra and win that way. Play a Chandra, and that does it. Well, no Startled Awake, but winning. Uh, probably another Chandra. Descend Upon the Sinful. Going down Vessels. Actually, Tale of the Telepath seems rough. We can't really hit very well with Collected Company. And a Fiery Impulse. And try it like that. Uh, we got a Startle Awake this time. That's something. This hand is kind of slow, though, as far as disrupting our opponent. Uh, Evolving Wild Goo. We're going to need to find Radiant Flames or something. Westvale Abbey. There's Duskwatch. And we take one. Rack Evolving Wilds. Get a Plains. Island. Jace. Pass the turn. Valving Wilds for our opponent. And passes. Flips Duskwatch. Gonna activate in response. Yep. Loam Dryad. Ooh, Geist Blast? But Geist Blast doesn't kill the werewolf anymore. Still, we can Geist Blast the Loam Dryad. Cut them off of some of their mana. And pass the turn. Cracks Valving Wilds. Their creature spells now get a discount from this Cardinal Horde Howler. Transgress gets <laughs> Startled Awake or Dragon Lord's Prerogative. Takes Dragon Lord's Prerogative, so we're gonna get to Startled Awake. Land, another Duskwatch. Like to find a Radiant Flames. Gets in for three. Well, let's loot with Jace. Discard a Fumeral. Flips Cardinal Hoarder back around. Fiery Impulse, A. Eh? Maybe we just have to double Fiery Impulse here. Fiery Impulse, land, Fiery Impulse, loot with Jace, Chandra, man, <laughs> I think the right choice is to keep Chandra, but we can double Startled Awake next turn, potentially, and hey, we'll pitch Startled Awake, we can always get it back, just tick up Jace, pass the turn, oh, uh, I don't know, this is the right play as far as trying to win the game, keeping the Chandra, but it makes it less likely we win by Startled Awake. Or maybe more likely, because we're not as likely to die to our opponent. Displacer. Well, 
let's fire impulse to displace her. And that does it! Well, we still haven't resolved to startle the wake, but uh, we won. Against odds, startling Jess guy. Uh, I guess we'll have to make do with this talent of the telepath for now. Mountain goo. Man, so many tap lands. Let's just play Fumeral, pass. Kinda don't mind drawing a couple basics, just so they come into play untapped. Boros something. <laughs> Needle Spires, goo. Uh, Mardu. Well, there's probably good things against Mardu. Um, yeah, let's just play the Valving Wilds. Pass the turn. Uh, yeah, Negate Nahiri. Can't let the Planeswalker come down already. Uh, Crack of Valving Wilds, get a Island, I guess, is fine. Uh, I think we want to wait on talent until we have Spell Mastery. It's so much better with Spell Mastery. Could hit, like, Read the Bones or something. So we'll just pass. Did draw some untapped lands, which is sweet. Another Smoldering Marsh for opponent. And passes? Do we want to Fiery Temper their face so we can talent? Uh, probably not worth it. Fumeral, go. They probably have Painful Truce over Read the Bones. And hitting those off talent is really bad. Westvale Abbey. Opponent passes. <laughs> Valving Wilds, go. We're on the mono land plan now. Uh, something Stone Quarry. Alright, Crack Valving Wilds. Get a mountain, sure. Uh, there's a Jace. It'll just die. You gotta have a handful of removal spells. Alright, we'll play it. Why not? It's gonna die later anyway, so just hope for the best. Another land. Now kill the Jace, I'm sure. <laughs> Spend a life to make a 1-1, one -one, untap Radiant Flames? Okay. Opponent passes. That is a heck of a draw. <laughs> Dragonlord's Prerogative is probably going to win us this game. Uh, that is super, super awesome. We have one real card draw spell, and it's Dragonlord's Prerogative, and we hit it. Passes, all right. Dragon Lord's prerogative. No dragons to reveal, but that's fine. Whew, draw four. Hopefully this finds us. This seems like a matchup where if we just draw into Startled the Wakes, we can win very easily. Negate's kind of helpful. Not really what we wanted, though. Would have rather drawn Startled the Wakes and Narsets. Ooh, there's a Startled the Wake. Let's play Jace. Let's play Startled the Wake. See what is going on in our opponent's deck. All right, Mill 13, what do they have? Whoa, Felidare Sovereign, Alhemrit's Archive, Soren Chandra, from underneath the floorboards, Radiant Flames. It's a spicy Mardu brew. All right, Mountain Go. That's it. Ooh, if Jace lives, that's so awesome. Jace flashback Star of the Wake. Oh, that would be so good. That's a Felidare Sovereign. <laughs> All right. Okay. Are we really going to get to flip Jace? Oh, that's kind of sweet. Well, let's go one, two, three, four. Talent of the Telepath. Weird Spell Mastery. We look at the top seven, can cast two instants and sorceries for free. Descend upon the Sinful, and from underneath the floorboards. Oh, I did it the wrong order. We do want to flip Jace. Uh, discard Needle Spires. Yeah, if I stacked it the opposite way, we would have had the zombies too. But I think this is still okay. We still get a 4-4 Angel. It would have been better, though, if I stacked it the opposite way. Yeah, so so we get some zombies, gain 3 life, kill the zombies, get an Angel. Um, and then I guess we can just... Let's just wait one more turn. Let's just pump up Jace, play Prairie Stream. Next turn, we can start flashing things back. Declaration in Stone, our Angel. Yep, not gonna fight over that. Nixless Reignited. Um, okay. That gets them lower in their library, so it actually doesn't bother us too much. Well, let's flashback Dragonlord's prerogative. Draw four. Ay, we did not get a anything. Uh, we probably can't just go shields down. Let's play a Shivan Reef and just pass the turn. I was really hoping we'd hit a Startled Awake there. Discard Fiery Temper, hit Abnixilis, uh, and also discard a Radiant Flames. So, yeah, Madness, Fiery Temper... Make sure Abnixilis can't mull, uh, ultimate. That would be one way we could lose. All right, pass the turn. Well, we have one talent and three Startled Awakes left in our deck. All right, Fiery Temper is going to take down our Jace. Well, uh, we'll let that go. Draws with Abnixilis. Tamio's Journal. Hmm. Uh, I guess that's fine. 
That's just them drawing more cards. Maybe we just Chandra discard our hand? That might be best. Another fiery impulse. Yeah, let's play a land. Chandra. Let's just draw a new seven. So a true wheel of fortune here. Still no startled awake. Vessel and a Narset, I guess? Well, we're shields down again. Pump up Narset. All right, get a fiery temper. Good lord. We <laughs> we're down to 22 cards in our deck and we still have three startled awakes to go. Hopefully we don't just die this turn. We're almost to the point where one Startled Awake just wins us the game. Opponent's down to 18 cards. Vessel puts them to 15. Yeah, one Startled Awake is pretty close to doing it. Two Startled Awakes definitely does it. Chandra. I'm guessing this is attack our Planeswalkers. Probably kill our Chandra so we can't wheel again. That's what I wanted to do, was just Wheel of Fortune again. Draw a million new cards. Oh, it's going after Narset. Now, do they have a way to just kill Chandra? Our set goes to one. They have, like, Ruinous Path? Wow. We get to wheel again? Whew, that's awesome. Well, let's pump up Narset. Get a Radiant Flames. Zero Chandra. Draw eight new cards. We gotta hit Startle Awakes this time. Fiery Tempers. All right, let's ignore Fiery Tempers. No Madness. We're just gonna win right here. No cast. No cast. And then we get to... Talent of the Telepath. We get a... It doesn't matter. We're going to win here. Yeah, I guess we gotta might as well cast this stuff, but... Exile Chandra from underneath the floorboards. Talent is awesome in this matchup. Gain three more life. But none of that really matters, because we are just going to cast a Start of the Wake and get the win. And that should do it. What an interesting deck. So pass the turn, and our opponent scoops it up. <laughs> Startling Jess guy. <laughs> oh, so many Planeswalkers. Well, we want to focus on Planeswalkers, I guess. Definitely want more Talent of the Telepath. Talent of the Telepath seemed insane in this matchup. Get rid of Descend Upon the Sinful. Get rid of Fiery Impulse. Get rid of Radiant Flames. Do we just not have enough things to bring in? This kills Tamiyo's Journal. They do have a couple creatures. I guess we can keep a Descend Upon. Let's keep the Descend Upon the Sinfuls. All right, try it like that. All right, can deal with this. Got the talent and the startled awake, and we're gonna have the lands to cast them on time. I approve. Mountain Swamp for our opponent. Uh, let's just go Mountain Pass. We can play the tap land next turn. Smoldering Marsh. Uh, yeah, Prairie Stream, go. I guess there's a question whether or not we should just tap out. All right, Nahiri, negate Nahiri. Maybe we just play Narset first so we can double up on our double up on our startled awake. So Narset, pump it up, and we get another Narset. Ooh, all right, that's not bad. From underneath the floorboards, make some zombies. Hmm. Let's pump up Narset. See what we hit. All right, we get a fiery temper. Let's just startle the awake. Mill a bunch of cards. Hope our op opponent doesn't hit a Chandra. Uh, Fumeral passed the turn. Opponent left in a lot of creature removal, which is pretty bad. We did mill a Chandra. Oh, God. Well, now we might be in trouble. <laughs> We're going to need this Talent of the Telepath to be very good. We're going to need, like, Descend Upon the Sinful and Anguish Unmaking, probably. Unless they go after Narset. No, well, everything goes after us. Down to eight. Well... I guess we gotta pump up Narset. Land doesn't help. Talent. All right, Talent, give us some love. Well, Declaration Stone technically keeps us alive for a turn, but I don't know if it really saves us because there's still this Chandra. Our opponent has a million Planeswalkers. I <laughs> don't know if I've ever seen so many Planeswalkers all in the same deck. They're gonna split it up, hit Narset, hit us. Down to six. All right. We gotta get rid of Chandra somehow. There's the land. Well, pump up Narset. All right, Talent of the Telepath. Talent of the Telepath, our opponent. Uh, from underneath the floorboards wouldn't hurt either. Well, there's from underneath the floorboards. So we cast from underneath the floorboards, and that's all. Get some zombies, gain some life, play the mountain. So technically we're staying alive? Our opponent's down to 20 cards in their library. We're not that far away from from pulling this off. All right, Radiant Flames wipes away our tokens. 
elementals put us down to six down to two hit us for six down to two. Oh come on big draw jace all right let's pump up in our set we get a fiery temper play land i guess we play jace pass the turn leave up double fiery temper we can't kill the chandra this turn can kill the tokens and then we can flash something back with jace which kind of gives us an out well, they're gonna draw with Chandra. Interesting. Oh, and Madness uh, from underneath the floorboards. Well, they get a ton of zombies. Opponent passes. All right, come on, Dragonlord's prerogative. Give us some love. Can we do it? I think we can. And a talent. One, two, I think we get it. So we, if we get to flip Jace here. So loot with Jace, discard in our set. Oh man, we got it. Oh, all right. Flashback Startled Awake with Jace. The vessel, the vessel is going to come through. Startled Awake targeting our opponent. Down to one card. Island. <laughs> oh, Vessel of uh, Paramnesia. And that mills the last card for the win. <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Oh, watch us die on our upkeep, on our opponent's upkeep. All right, sack vessel, mill the last card. Might as well pump up Narset. Maybe we hit a negate. All right, we get a Chandra. Not that it matters. It's either, our opponent either kills us here or it's over. So Chandra and Narset. Can you kill us on our on your upkeep? Do you have a burn No, they have the burn spell. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, we got there, but they had the fiery temper. Oh, I thought we had it. Well, I guess we're going to a game three. All right, let's run it back. All right, game three against Mardu's super friends, apparently. Aye. Well, we got a negate. Good news is our opponent's going to five. You gotta expect when you play only six drops, sooner or later, you're gonna get some clunkiness. There is a downside to playing mono six drop dot deck. Even if all your six drops are really powerful. All right, Shivan Reef, go. Planes. Well, Narset will be good if we ever draw white mana. Shivan Reef, go. Mountain. All right, there's the white mana. So we're gonna get the Narset on turn four if we want it. Crack Valving Wilds, get the planes. All right, I think we're going for it. Well, Anguish and Making. Maybe we don't. Our opponent's so far behind. Nahiri would be pretty bad. All right, let's just pass. If we can get one more land, then we can Narset with Negate back up. Ugh. All right, Narset. Now that we have two Narsets, we might as well do it. Pump it up. All right, Wandering Fumeral on top. Pass the turn. All right, no Anguish on making. That's encouraging. All right, there's Nahiri. So apparently they were just uh, slow rolling it. Guards descend upon the Sinful. And a land. Well, plus Nahiri. Another land on top, play a Fumeral, pass the turn, I guess. Westvale Abbey. Oh, Chandra, all right, now we're in good shape. We get to negate the Chandra. Opponent draws and discards with Nahiri, discards a Shambling Vent. Now we can Fiery Temple the Nahiri. Man, one more negate would be so good. Prairie Stream on top. Well, actually, they don't have a creature land. All right, yeah, let's, uh, Wandering Fumeral, Hit the Nahiri down to one. Play Shivan Reef, pass the turn. Loots with Nahiri. So they need like a Sorin or a Chandra. And it looks like they drew one. They drew another Chandra. Never ending Chandras. Make some elementals. Both at Narset. We draw another land. Pump up Narset. Another land. Oy. Wandering Fumeral. Well, we've just ran incredibly poorly. Attack Chandra. Switch the power and toughness. Chandra down to one. Opponent makes some elementals. Kills Narset. Loots with Nahiri. Gets up from underneath the floorboards. Oh, we just have drawn nothing. All lands. We didn't get a single hit off Narset. No startled awake. And our opponent did not madness from underneath the floorboard. Well, let's Narset. Take up Narset. Get a startled awake. Startle awake our opponent. They're going to make a 1-1 one -one with Westville Abbey. We mill a bunch of cards. Play Needle Spires. Pass the turn. Make some Elementals. Loots with Nahiri. Discards a Languish. Goes after Narset. Philidaire Sovereign. 
Well, the good news here is we get to descend upon the sinful, and we're getting close to the point of winning this game by time. Play a prairie stream. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can't quite activate a creature land, but descend upon the sinful. Get a four, four. So we might be winning even through all this just because our opponent played way too slow. Because they are under a minute, we're over 10 minutes. They loot, and we have another Descend Upon the Sinful. Taking way too long on this decision, you actually gotta kill us. Discard's a land? You tank that long and you discard a land? I mean, we still could have won this game, even without the time issue. Alright, opponent discards their hand to Chandra. Gonna madness a bunch of stuff. But I don't think it's gonna save them. They're just not enough time. 16 seconds, 14 seconds, now 15 seconds. They were going the wrong direction. All right, they madness. Yeah, they are going to kill themselves trying to madness these cards. And we got there. Another win for Jeskai. Startling Jeskai. Sweet. And there it is. <laughs> All right, well, we'll take it. Oh, the deck is looking good. All right, against odds, startling Jeskai in standard. We'll play first. And yeah, this is fine. Uh, so let's just go Evolving Wilds Go. Opponent has Forest. Alright, let's get a Mountain Island Jace and pass the turn. So now we're just mostly looking for our Startled Awakes. Sylvan Advocate. Another in our set. Uh, Alright, let's loot with Jace. Ooh, discard Fiery Temper. That was a very good draw. Uh, Fiery Temper, the Sylvan Advocate. Evolving Wilds Go. Another Sylvan Advocate. All right, Valving Wilds, get a Plains. Radiant Flames, A. Eh? All right, let's loot with Jace. Discard a Negate. Fiery Impulse, Sylvan Advocate with Spell Mastery. Play a Vessel, pass the turn. Still not finding lands, though. Kill two Sylvan Advocates, though, which is good. Uh, Stasis Snare the Jace, sure. Oh, they're Startled Awake, but we don't have the land. Land, come on. All right, there's Shivan Reef. We gotta wait another turn to do it, but then we have Narset, Rebound Startled Awake. <laughs> Narset, Rebound Startled Awake. Hopefully our opponent doesn't play a big threat. Alright. Oh, another Startled Awake? Alright. Uh, yes, yes. Narset, pump up Narset. Uh, get a Fiery Impulse. I think we can just combo off with Narset and Startled Awake. <laughs> this is gonna be sweet. Oath of Nyssa. I mean, assuming we just don't die first, we can resolve our four Startled Awakes right in a row. Archangel Avacyn is a bit scary. Uh, Alright, land is fine. Let's tick down our set. Startled awake our opponent. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Gets rebound. Wandering Fumeral, pass the turn. There's Archangel Avacyn. So we pretty much get need to either find another Startled Awake, or somehow get to the point where we can rebound another Startled Awake with Narset to actually finish the game. Alright, Avacyn, if they don't go after Narset, they don't? <laughs> Alright. Well, we rebound Startled Awake. <laughs> they really needed to uh, go after Narset there. So we Startled Awake again, play a mountain, take down Narset. Oh, the second Startled Awake <laughs> with rebound. Yes! Getting it done! <laughs> oh, they're gonna regret not attacking that Narset. <laughs> double rebound, double startle in the gate. Oh, so good. <laughs> so green-white tokens, uh, we probably want more wrathy stuff. Might want more negates. I guess we can go down the vessels, go up negates. Probably need Rending Volleys to kill Avacyns over, hmm, going down. Talent of the Telepath doesn't seem good. Stasis Snare also gets Avacyn, while also getting Gideon. That might be more important. Maybe go down a Geist Blade and Quarantine Field over Dragonlord's Prerogative. Something like that. Uh, alright, good enough. Fortified Village untapped for our opponent. Fumeral, goo. Sylvan Advocate time. Lamhole Pacifist. Well, let's just Shivan Reef into a Jace. Can't attack unless they control a creature with power for greater. Flips around into a four power creature. Ooh. Then pump it up with Lamhole Pacifist. Uh, well, I guess we just need to Jace, pitch a Fiery Temper, 
kill Nissa. Needle Spires pass the turn. So I think we gotta try to survive till we get to six mana, most likely. I guess we can Fiery Temper plus Radiant Flames to get rid of Lamholt Pacifist. Also kills our Jace, though. Another Nissa makes a plant. All right, taking four more. Island. Oh, so we can do it now, actually. But we lose our Jace. Is it worth losing our Jace? We can also just play Narset and take it up. Maybe that's better. Let's just go land Narset. Pump up Narset. Ugh, Jace on top. All right. Jace isn't great here. Pass the turn. Probably just have to draw and discard the Jace. With Jace. Dramoka's command is kind of a blowout. Dramoka's command. All right, let's loot. Maybe we just discard in our set. Hanger back X1. Oh my god. Pumps everything up, so now we can kill in our set. Going to be about getting to that to send upon the sinful, I think. Oh, they didn't even go after in our set. Oh, all right, let's pump up in our set. All right, island on top. That's an untapped land. Problem is, we'd have to. How do we live here? All right, let's just Jace Needle Spires. Pass the turn, hope that we can bluff like a fiery impulse or something, and then our opponent doesn't just pump up everything with this and attack. If they do that, we're dead. Uh, yeah, so I think we're dead now, if they just swing with everything. Yup, alright. <laughs> the bluff did not work. Uh, land short. Alright, run it back. I think that's a fine setup. Ooh, needle spires, radiant flames, alright. Well, we got to send upon the sinful live long enough to cast our wrath so we should be pretty good oath of nissa gets a forest all right evolving wilds get a plains let's i think we can play a tap land here so play evolving wilds next turn we can leave up negate for a nissa or something and lamholt pacifist land um island hmm i think we just hope they don't have a nissa radiant flames get rid of lamholt pacifist Come on, no Nissa. One time. Fortified Village. Oh, Oath of Gideon. All right, we can deal with Oath of Gideon. Descend Upon the Sinful will beat that eventually. Well, that's Shivan Reef and Jace. So we can leave up Negate. Canopy Vista. Nissa. Yeah, let's negate that. Someone's going to attack with both. We block. Well, loot with Jace. Discard a Needle Spires. Let's just pump up Jace for now. Wandering Fumeral. Pass the turn. Are we going to have Delirium activated? So not quite. Opponent's going to attack Jace and passes. Probably means Avacyn. Well, I guess if they play Avacyn and kill Jace, that's not that bad. Because then that turns on Descend Upon the Sinful. So let's just Needle Spires, pass the turn. Not really any reason for them to bluff there. So it's not like we have any creatures to attack with anyway. So I guess they can't quite kill Jace. Not found a Startled Awake. All right. Hits Jace down to two. Nissa makes a plant. Um, yeah, let's uh, descend upon the sinful. Pump up Jace. Shivan Reef, go. Come on, startled awake. Hanger back, X3. Would really like this next. Uh, all right, let's hit Hanger back. Play a fumeral, pass the turn. Would really like to be able to actually <laughs> delirium this next descend upon the sinful. I think we're going to block with a Fumeral. If they have a way to kill it, that's kind of fine. We have plenty of lands. So just block Hanger back. Opponent passes. Ooh, they're Startled Awake. Yeah, let's Startled Awake our opponent. Land. Get back Startled Awake. It does kind of give us an infinite blocker until our opponent can kill it. Uh, and then we'll target the plant. Pass the turn. Uh-oh. They have Stasis Snare. Ooh, Avacyn. All right. Well, the only good news here is we have another Descend Upon the Sinful. And if they kill Jace, we get to exile everything and get a 4 4. They do this for like 10? Alright. Fights our Persistent Nightmare. Well, the good news is we take a huge beating. Hopefully, they kill Jace because they don't want us to flashback Descend Upon the Sinful. And then we Descend Upon the Sinful from our hand, exile everything, get a 4 4. And we've done some milling. They're halfway through their library. Not going to attack with the 0-3 plant. Jace down. We're down to 13. What does our opponent have? Makes a plant. 
Ooh, and a fiery temper is good. Well, let's descend upon the sinful with delirium this time. Exile everything, get our 4 4. Sylvan Advocate has a 4 5. Makes a plant. Well, let's. What's the odds that they actually have an Avacyn? Probably not that good. Let's fire Yimpulse, redirect to Nyssa. I think they're holding a the land. Then we get to attack Nyssa. Whew, all right, no slow roll. Get back, startled awake. Play Battlefield Forge, pass the turn. Now if we could just figure out a way to get in with Startled Awake. Oh, that's a Gideon. Oh, Lord. Opponent pumps up Gideon. It does not have haste, though. Actually, we should just kill this, right? Like, it's going to cost us a land, but I think that's all right. Activate Fumeral. Double block Advocate. Flip the power and toughness on Fumeral. Rid of Sylvan Advocate. Oh, Lord, that's a Chandra. Oh, man, our one Chandra. All right. Uh, that was a good draw. Chandra, make some elemental tokens. I think we just crash everything at Gideon to get rid of it and then trust that our Chandra is going to win us the game. Take down Gideon. Oh, I think we're going to do it. <laughs> uh, Startle Awake might not mill our opponent out, but uh, we might win anyway. Gate. All right, let's make some elementals. Swing with the team. Get back, startled awake. Pass the turn. Oh, and our opponent drew two lands in a row. Yeah, they're pretty much dead. We draw Jace. Well, let's make elementals. Attack with the team. Opponent blocks startled awake and goes to zero. Sweet. Well, technically, startled awake won us that game because our opponent felt the need to block it, which allowed our more aggressive creatures to get through. Uh, yeah, well, we just keep winning. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes with Startled Awake, sometimes without, but this deck actually just seems good. Against odds, a startling Jeskai in standard. We have a lot of what we want. Unfortunately, our lands are tapped, but we get Jace, have a Startled Awake. Wondering Fumeral for our opponent. Fumeral versus Fumeral. Well, that's good. Well, now we get to play a Jace on turn two. Probably just dies, but still, we get to play a Jace. We're getting close. We need one more land. If we get to activate a Jace... Then we should be able to find it. Not gonna happen. Ooh, we found it though. All right, let's vessel needle spires go. Oh man, we got startled awake and talent on the telepath. Prairie stream and thing in the ice. Well, island and <laughs> we're doing it. We're doing it. Startled awake. Oh, this is uh, our fevered thing tutelage deck. Sunken hollow. Put us down to 36 cards in their library. There's a tutelage. That's actually not horrible. Hmm. Well, land. I guess we're going to rebuy our Startled Awake as a 1-1 with Skulk. When it deals damage, if it deals damage, we get to return it to hand. There's a Fevered Visions. Let the drawing and milling commence. Who's a better mill deck? Another thing in the ice. Opponent draws, mills, a talent. We get a Prairie Stream. Let's... Ooh, Narset? Well, let's land... Let's just land and Narset. Pump up Narset. Ooh, that's a start of the wake. We're doing it, we're doing it, we're doing it. No reason to even attack. Get a fiery impulse, which isn't bad. But we do take some damage. Oh, Lord. <laughs> I am the Geist Blast. One, two, three. Oh, we're a land away. They milled the Geist Blast. We can almost triple Startle Awake. We need one untapped land. And we can copy with Geist Blast and rebound with Narset. Ooh, what a blowout. Magmatic Insight. Get some more Tutelage Triggers. That actually means that just doubling a Startled Awake might just win the game. All right, Tormenting Voice. Well, now doubling a Startled Awake will win the game. More Tutelage Triggers. Uh, double Impulse down, two lands, land, and land. When it draws off Fevered Visions, Jace, Talent of the Telepath. When it reveals the top seven, we can cast two instants or sorceries from among them. The rest get milled. So we Fiery Impulse, a thing in the ice, and no Clash of Wills. We can tick up Narset, Needle Spires on top, and then I guess we just Fiery Impulse, another thing in the ice. Pass the turn. See how much milling our opponent can do. We get to draw land, but it's a tapped land. So it doesn't help us double up a startled awake. 
I guess there's a question of our opponent can just mill us out as well. All right, Prairie Stream Radiant Flames down. Gonna Radiant Flames kill our Persistent Nightmare. Disperse, flipping, uh, getting rid of our Narset. Transforming Awoken Horror. Oh, come on. Come on, untap land one time. We get hit for seven. Tap land. All right, opponent draws from Fever Division. Gets to mill. Come on, untap land. Untap land. Fiery Temper. Let's Narset. Pump up Narset. We get a negate. Play Needle Spires. And I think we just pass the turn and leave up negate here. And then try to double Startled Awake with Geist Flame next turn for the win. Woken Horror going to hit us. All right, opponent, what do you got? They draw off Fevered Vision, get another Tutelage Trigger. All right, let's pump up Narset. Fumeral on top. Oh, I mean, I guess we got to do it and just hope for the best. So, Startled Awake, targeting our opponent, and Geist Blast... <laughs> copying Startled Awake. If they don't have a counter, this should do it. Copy Startled Awake. Same target. With a double Startled Awake? Do they have a negate? Oh no. Oh no. They're tapping out. Come on. <laughs> what are you doing? What is this? Clash of Wills X6. Would we like to play six for Clash of Wills? No. Oh my god! Our opponent's gonna win with one card in their library. They draw their last card, but then get to attack us with Awoken Horror. Oh my lord. Oh my lord! Oh my god. Alright. Oh, so that's what they're up to. Well, Talent of the Telepath seems good. Fate Forgotten and Negate. Fiery Impulse seems pretty bad. Descend Upon the Sinful seems pretty bad. Uh, Radiant Flames also pretty bad. And try it like that. I guess Fiery Temper could be okay. Not great. Not very easy to kill a thing in the ice with a Fiery Temper. Needle Spires, goo. Valving Wilds, goo. Another Sunken Howl for opponent. Crack of Valving Wilds, get a island. Um, Evolving Wilds, goo. Do they have a tutelage? We do get to Startled Awake next turn. Fevered Visions. All right, let's get a island. Opponent draws. Ooh, that's good. Startled Awake. Targeting our opponent. They definitely brought in a bunch more counters. Ooh, Talent of the Telepath as well. Island for our opponent. And Thing in the Ice. Opponent draws. We get a Needle Spires. Yeah, let's just play a Fumeral and pass the turn. Try to... Fate Forgotten, the Fevered Vision, perhaps? Ooh, another Fiery Temper. If we get enough Fiery Tempers, that's a way we can kill the Thing in the Ice, potentially. Another Thing in the Ice. Mono Things in the Ice. All right, let's Fate Forgotten, the Fevered Visions. Looks like our opponent is going to negate. Well, the good news is that opens the door for Talent of the Telepath. Well, let's Talent of the Telepath and see what we hit. Actually, do we want to play a land first? One, two, three... I guess it doesn't really matter. So let's Talent of the Telepath. Whiffed? That's bad. Needle Spires, pass the turn. That was bad. <laughs> if they can flip those things in the ice, they have lethal, actually. We're at 14. We might just die to these things in the ice. Opponent passes, draws a card. We're going to have to discard a card. Narset. We might just have to pass and try to kill a thing in the ice. Yeah. That's probably the best plan. Land go. We draw a negate. Okay. Prairie stream for our opponent. Another fevered vision? Can we survive double fevered vision? I guess we gotta try. Alright, let's kill one of these now. While your opponent's tapped down. So, Geist Blast on Thing in the Ice. Fiery Temper on Thing in the Ice. So one thing in the ice down. Still got one left behind. To so draw a couple cards. It draws more off fevered visions. So we kind of want Talent of the Telepath or another Startled Awake. Those are the big ones. Opponent has to discard. Well, it's a Startled Awake. I guess we cast it. Startled Awake our opponent. Oh, they're down to five cards. We got to live two more turns. Prairie Stream. And can we die if we play in our set? All right, I guess we just pass and leave up our negate. See what we draw. Man, we got our opponent to five and we had him to one the first game. Oh my 
God. All right, come on. Are we going to die right at the end again? What do we get? Ooh, stasis snare? That was actually a good draw. And a fiery temper. All right, that means that they can't just flip and kill us with uh, a thing in the ice, which is what I was worried about. We're shields down. This is it. Can you actually kill us, opponent? And do we draw anything next turn? Another thing in the ice. All right. Dispersed our stasis snare to get back thing in the ice. That doesn't really matter because it doesn't it have haste. So even if they flip it. All right. What do we draw? Opponent's down to two cards. We draw Jace. Stasis snare. All right. Let's negate the <laughs> negate the negate. Do they have another counter? Are they really going to win with one card and then two cards in their library? Oh, all right. Get rid of Thing in the Ice. Play a Jace. Play a Shivan Reef. We're dropping to four off Fevered Visions. Can they actually kill us? They're going to draw themselves to death to their own Fevered Visions on their end step. Uh, Negate would be fine. Shivan Reef and talent. All right, what do you got, opponent? Can you kill us from four this turn? Fumeral, second main phase. Oh, we're gonna get it. They're gonna die to their own fevered visions. Whoo, start of the wake, <laughs> coming through. Down to zero cards, and that does it. <laughs> yes, oh my goodness. So the first game we got them to one card, and then this game we got them to zero just before we died. We uh, all right, somewhat reasonable. Wandering Fumeral. Uh, ooh, they're startled awake. Prairie Stream Goo. Tap land for our opponent. Well, I'm guessing our Jace dies, but I think we still play it. Uh, Rending Volley. Takes care of the first thing in the ice. We kind of want our Jace to live just because we need a fourth land pretty severely. Rending Volley? Or Fiery Impulse? Something? Sunken Hollow. And are we going to get a Jace activation? Whew. All right, Jace activation, Geist Blast, play the Prairie Stream, go. Normally discarding the second Jace is good, but I'm still a little worried they're going to kill our Jace. Do we care about Fevered Visions? I guess we should probably counter it. Counter Fevered Visions. Land for our opponent. Startled Awake. All right, Jace, another Jace. So we really can't play anything? All right, I guess we just discarded Jace and pass since we can't get a land. Oh... There's a thing in the ice. Tormenting voice. All right, let's just rending valley the thing in the ice. Do we get a land? Come on. There's untap land. So, loot with Jace. Discard a Jace. Play a Shivan Reef. Oh man, this is like the nut draw. Startle the wake our opponent. Pump up Jace. I think we got it in hand this time. We can. Flashback of Startled Awake, cast another Startled Awake from our hand, that's 26 cards milled, and then Talent of the Telepath is 7 more. Alright, another thing in the ice, and Tormenting Voice gets a counter off the thing in the ice, and an island. Planes, let's, let's Talent of the Telepath first. Opponent has a counter. Ooh, Punish for not playing a land. Alright, Pump Up Jace. Opponent's got one card in hand, two counters on thing in the ice. Plays a land, still one card in hand, and a negate, that's good. So let's land Startled Awake. I think we're going to get there. Opponent's down to 18 cards. Pump up Jace. We're close. We're super close. 17 cards. Disperse our Jace. Last card is... Oh, just activate Fumeral. Alright. Well, we're going to take four here. A removal spell for Fumeral would be nice. Flipping thing in the ice is a little scary. Yep, we take four. Down to 15. Fate Forgotten, not good here. So let's play a Jace. Play Narset. Pump up Narset. Get a Narset. Pass the turn. Man, this is going to be close. Can they flip thing in the ice? Ooh, apparently not. Now I like our odds. Another land. Fires up Fumeral. All right. Ooh, and a Rending Volley? They could have a counter. Well, let's flip Jace. Discard a Fate Forgotten. Take down Narset. Flashback. Startled Awake. All right, cast Startled Awake. Rebound it with Narset. Opponent has a Negate. So let's think about this. They flip Thing in the Ice. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. All right, I think we can just Negate back. Negate the Negate. They flip it. 
I don't think they can kill us, though. Startle the Wake puts them to three cards. All right, we pass the turn. They don't have enough lands for double Fumeral. So, all right, there it is. <laughs> they can hit us for 11, down to four. But we have a Startle the Wake being rebounded next turn. And even if it's countered, we have Talent of the Telepath. There's Fumeral. I don't think they have a four mana burn spell in this deck. There's a big attack. Kills Narset. Knocks down Jace. Ugh, our opponent's not very good at their wandering fumeral timing. They tend to do it after it's too late. I think we get a rebound here, though, for the win. Unless I misunderstand how this works. I think you can rebound it, even though on a flashback. But we'll see, because it goes to exile either way. So I think that that works. Fevered Visions, sure. That should work. So our opponent draws. It doesn't work! Ugh! Well, I mean, it doesn't matter, because we have Talent of the Telepath. I really thought that would work, because it goes to the Exile Zone either way. So we mill our opponent out, and that should do it. Whew! Huh, I'm going to have to read the ruling on that. Sweet! Well, there it is. <laughs> Startled awake chess guy getting it done. Sweet, sweet, sweet. <laughs> so what did we learn this week? Well, the deck was actually super successful. We played five matches because they tended to go really long and go to three games, and we won four of them. So we actually came out of this with a extremely strong record. Uh, how much of that is attributable to Startled Awake? I'm not 100% sure. Like, we definitely won some games with Startled Awake, but we also won quite a few games just from having a decent deck. That's the thing with Startled Awake. When I was thinking about building it, there's not a lot of great ways of making it happen. It would be cool to have a deck where you just like play Startled Away, get it back, attack with Startled Away, get it back to your hand. But for one thing, that's really slow. And the other thing is there's a lot of removal that exiles. So if that's our plan and we get hit by a Declaration in Stone or an Anguish Unmaking, we just get really, really wrecked. So I think going the double it up route with uh, Narset and with Geist Blast and flashing it back with Jace. I think that's the best way to build the deck. And it also has the the side effect of actually being a reasonable deck. Like, when we're not winning with Startled Awake or Talent of the Telepath and flashing it back and so forth, we actually can just compete as a sort of Jeskai control deck with some good removal. Uh, so, I think it turned out pretty well, and the deck actually seemed pretty strong. So, I'm definitely happy with how it turned out. I really had a fun time playing it. I enjoy playing control decks, so it was a fun deck to play. Definitely long and grindy, but I think that's just how it's going to be with start of the wake. I don't think there's any way you're going to build a fast start of the wake, awake deck, and there isn't a critical mass of mill spells to build just a straight up mill deck. Really, after start of the wake, you go down to Talent of the Telepath and the Vessel, which we had in our deck. After that, there's uh, the blue two drop that mills three when it enters the battlefield, and then mills on the upkeep if you have Delirium. But that seemed really bad because it's a zero three, and it would just turn on a lot of removal. So there's just not a critical mass of good mill spells. So you can't really play a like Tome Scour. Glimpse the Unthinkable mill deck where you're just like, mill card, mill card, mill card, mill card, gotcha. You kind of have to play this more controlling build and try to uh, take advantage of the, the couple good mill spells there are in Star Wars Awake and Tantal of the Telepath by doubling and tripling them up with other cards. So anyway, I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, had, a, had a lot of fun playing it, and against all odds, we have a 4-1 record, so apparently the deck is actually pretty solid. Anyway, make sure to check out the website, mtggoldfish.com. And if you enjoyed the video, take a minute, click the like button, the subscribe button. Be a huge favor to us. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed startling Jess Guy in Standard for our Against the Odds this week, and I will talk to you soon.